Hey, troglodytes, welcome back. Let's see what guitar we have today. Oh my, this is an evil Oh! Are you guys seeing this right now? This might be electronical malfunction, or this guitar is just haunted. Let's take a quick look. I mean, the, the neck pickup looks okay. I mean, how about the bridge? Oh my! <laughs> Welcome back, troglodytes, to the Troglies Guitar Show. We finally done it. It's the last episode documenting the very last color variation of the Zoot Suit series. In case you happen to miss the other six videos, these things were first introduced in 2009, and they ran until 2012 with the SG body shape. They were done in rainbow, black and natural, black and red, black and orange, and red and blue. And then once the SGs were done, Gibson did a very short run of 400 rainbow Les Pauls. So I've gone through and I've nicknamed each and every one of them. From the Jawbreaker, to the Clown, to the Spooky Scary Skeleton, the Superman, Jack-O-Lantern, and now the Devil SG. Yeah, I know, it's kind of cliche. Yeah, Devil's Guitar's the SG. But look at this thing! If you go back to my initial collection video, you're gonna notice this is not the same one. This one showed up and instantly I fell in love with it. I sold that other one off to get this, but I love this one. I was initially actually going to call this the Ohio State guitar because that's what my other one looked like. But this one, it has such a much more deep evil vibe to it. I love this black area in the center instead of red. But why is it that these things are different anyways? Well, these are plywood guitars, technically. They're made out of multi layers of birch wood that are dyed different colors. So they form this body and they form the neck that way. And the SG's got an ebony fretboard. But as they carve out the body shape, depending on how many different layers you have, I counted a 29 piece body and a 49 piece neck on this example. But sometimes the dye is more prominent in some layers. Like you can see this one's really black, whereas it's more gray right here. And it, it'll just vary on every example. And that's why the Zoot Suit series is kind of cool because no two are alike. Stock from the factory, they feature the 496R-500T ceramic pickup combination. And they have see-through bobbins so you can see the copper color wiring. And you also have see-through pickup rings. This example is stock, except for the buttons have been swapped out, and I really dig this modification. It's got abalone topped knurled knobs. I just love the look with this guitar. This originally would have clear plastic knobs that are very prone to cracking. So besides being colorful and having ceramic pickups, the next best identifying characteristic to these is they have the traditional Gibson scale, but they are a full two octave 24 fret SG. They're kind of chunky. This one's at eight pounds, 14 ounces. And you can see it's kind of a carved SG. It's not just a flat shape like you'll usually find. It's got a belly on it to the top, and then it's got a concavedness on the back where it kind of falls in. I thought this one was so cool, I had to buy one of the Pick a Destiny picks from the Tenacious D movie because it, it's just the perfect devil guitar. I thought it needed it. And this bridge pickup, it sounds magical. But as long as we're talking about magical sounds, we might as well get to the playing demo. Thank <laughs> you. 
This instrument sounds, let's go ahead and review its condition. This instrument is in pretty good shape. You've just got some general light wear and tear along the headstock. Truss rod's perfectly adjustable. You can see all the multiple layers in there. Frets show next to no wear at all. I just cleaned the frets and conditioned the fretboard, so you're also good to go there. Again, it is a beautiful ebony board yet. Original 496R 500T pickups with original bridge and tailpiece. Again, the knobs have been modified with metal ones with abalone tops, but you have your stock red switch tip, and all the electronics are stock. You've got beautiful patterns on this Zoot Suit SG. This has to be my favorite black and red that I have ever seen. And I'm usually not a fan of this color scheme, but this one, it does it for me. But you just have your light picking scratches and light nicks and dings. Back of the headstock, it looks like 02179054.9, so made in 2009. You have your stock Grover tuners. It's a nice rounded neck profile. I would call it a 50 styled neck. You can see all the different layers of birch wood here. And then onto the back, you've got a really nice hourglass shape to this one. Not necessarily any huge buckle rash or anything but you do have some average play wear. Take a quick look around the edges here as well. You have Dunlop strap buttons on this one, and that is the end of the modifications here. Let's take a look under blacklight. Under blacklight, everything glows the way you would expect to see. 
nice even glow on the top. I like the way that these clear pickup rings also are glowing. Back of the instrument, same story as the front. Take a quick look around the edges here. No touch-ups or anything. It'd be pretty easy to spot a touch-up on these because they are a thin satin finish. So they're not super glossy, but you can super polish them into a gloss finish if you'd wish. But everything is good on this example. This instrument comes in a Gibson USA hard case. These all shipped with gig bags, so this was given to it after the fact. You can see it, it's quite beat up on the outside. It's got quite a few scratches and some light tears in the toe legs, like right up here. But it definitely does its job in protecting the guitar a lot better than the gig bag. You have a locking combo lock that hasn't been set and three other latches on the front side of the case. And the interior is a nice black color. You don't see this too often on the Gibson cases. So it is definitely good for protecting your instrument and you've got your lid ribbon. Inside the compartment, yep, I'm going to give you the pick of destiny. That's probably worth a couple million on its own. If you think you might be interested in being the next owner of the evilest looking zoot suit in the black and red finish, check out that link in the description that will take you to the reverb for sale ad. Thank you Troglodytes for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.